Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study, where I'm looking at a repaint this time. Looking at Transformers United Axelon, which uh, I just thought it was a cool repaint of the Energon Sharktacon. Of all of the Energon Sharktacon repaints and retools that exist, that I know of, which is uh, the original, the Botcon Skybite, or Cybershark, I think it was Skybite. Uh, Axelon, and then the Botcon Sharktacon, the one done in like G1 Sharktacon colors. Of all of them, this one is my favorite. But yeah, I didn't realize just how involved the homage for this was. I just thought United Axelon is just the name of this figure. And it's, you know, an Autobot, obviously, recolor of the Energon Sharktacon. But no, apparently, uh, going by TG Omega's video on this, this is actually an homage to the G1, G1, to the uh, original Beast Wars ship that the Maximals were flying in. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen Beast Wars, and I'm not as enamored with it as a lot of people are. But yeah, apparently the Axelon was the name of the Maximal ship, and this toy is meant to kind of homage that, and that's really cool, and way more involved than I was expecting, because I just thought it was a neat little repaint. With that out of the way, it's the Energon Sharktacon mold. It's the exact same figure, just different colors. But I like these colors a lot. They're a bit more downplayed than the more garish colors of the original Energon Sharktacon, which I no longer have, unfortunately, but that's just how it goes around here. <laughs> but uh, I really like these colors. Like It's primarily dark gray, light gray, this beige color, some red accents and some silver accents like that's primarily it for the uh for the color scheme but it works really well and the distribution is nice too with like oh wait no okay i'm noticing now there's a dark gray and then darker gray <laughs> in a few places like you can see here there's definitely a shade difference between this and this but yeah, it works well. The distribution is nice. I mean, it's very similar to the uh, Energon Sharktacon in its distribution, but it works pretty darn well. And I'm always, like I said, I, I love the design of this. I love that it's this big battleship type thing. But like when you look at it, particularly from the side, it's so obviously a shark. The only thing missing is the dorsal fin, which this kind of stands in for, but not quite. But yeah, I really like this design, just on its own, regardless of the color scheme. This shape for a vehicle, this idea, is really cool. But the paint on this thing is very nice. I mean, the United version is the uh, Takara. In some cases, they were repaints of older figures, and in other cases, they were essentially just like figures that were released in Generations, but better paint jobs, like United Drift. Anyway, Axelon. We're talking about Axelon. Axelon is very cool. Some nice detailing. I mean, the molding, and as I said, everything except the paint and coloration is the same as the Energon Sharktacon, so I'm just going to be repeating myself if I <laughs> go into it too much. I really like this. The beige and gray here makes some of those details in the molding pop out a little bit more. We also get little bits of silver here as well, which is great because this entire mass ends up on the back of the robot, so having it in different colors is cool. I like the fact that the guns also have silver barrels as opposed to, you know, just being like the same color or like a molded plastic or something. And they do move and rotate, as you can see there, and these two. And that's cool. It's not a feature that I use very often, but it's cool. And I really like the light blue that they've got for the windows and the bridge here. Those stand out really nicely. And got more details that'll be visible in robot mode. And it just kind of looks like junk back here. And it does that thing, still does the thing that the uh, Energon Sharktacon could do, where you can hinge out these things. It's tight hinges. And hinge out these bits on the side here. And it gives it sort of like a, a trident look. But also you've got missiles that you can fire off, and uh, I'm not actually going to fire them all off, but uh, there you go. Kind of a standardish looking light blue missile. And get back in there. Okay. So that is it 
for the very cool vehicle mode. Let's bring in some size comparisons here. Here's the Shark Decon with the standard deluxe, and I mean, I feel like Cybertron, Energon, they're roughly from the same era, so there's not a huge discrepancy in terms of size. And here he is with the duck tank. Alright, gonna transform Axelon into his robot mode, and if you're familiar with the Energon Shark Decon mold, then you are familiar with the transformation, because as I said, it's the exact same figure. Well, let's do it. Just like that there we have Transformers United Axelon in his robot mode, and it's exactly the same as the Energon Sharkticon, but in different colors. Are you shocked? I knew you were shocked. But this looks so good! As I said, I really like the color scheme here. The color distribution is nice. I don't have the Energon Sharkticon anymore to do a direct comparison to like where the color placement is, but this looks really, really good. Just looking at the plastic bits, the distribution is nice because you've got light gray on the feet, little knee flippers, elbow flippers, and uh, I think part of the head. Then you've got the sort of mid-tone gray for the thighs, biceps, and a little bit of the torso, center of the chest there. You've got the darker gray for the calves, the uh, backs of the arms here, the shoulders. There's a nice mixture of just the different colors here and also the beige for the fists and i believe yeah the pelvis section a little bit in the hinges up there which yeah they're hinges but still on the entire <laughs> this big old mass on the back the distribution just of the plastic looks great but then you have other stuff like the fact that you've got the uh, red highlights or not red highlights but like the red details for like the feet pelvis lots in the chest and the shoulders you've got white in the chest the and the edges of the fins. There's silver in the uh, pelvis and in the chest there. It's all really, really nicely pulled together with that color scheme and like little accents here and there. I also like that the silver is more focused in the torso, whereas the other colors like the white and the red are kind of spread out a little bit more. And the patterning in the torso is also really interesting, how it kind of, this red line kind of goes across the shoulders and then across the chest. And then it also goes straight down, kind of, it all kind of draws your eye right into the center of the chest there, where he's got his little uh, spark crystal, I believe it's called. And that is an Autobot spark crystal, because sure. But yeah, um, if he's the Maximals ship, why is it an Autobot logo and not a Maximal logo? I don't know. I'm the wrong person to be talking about this kind of stuff. Regardless, this figure looks great. As before, the detailing is exactly the same as the Sharkticon, the Energon Sharkticon, just, you know, painted differently with like the pointy feet, the nice heels, some really nice techy detailing all throughout, even like kind of up in the fins there and the thighs. Some really nice detailing. I really love the way the chest is done here. And the fists and the fins there, the biceps. It's really good stuff. And the head is the Energon Sharkticon head, but colored differently and in a way that works. It's kind of this uh, the grayish plastic, but then this nice burgundy-ish red for the bulk of the uh, helmet, I guess. And then a little bit of white on the sides to kind of tie it into the white in the chest there. And also it kind of evokes fins, like these could be the pectoral fins, this could be the dorsal fin. And then the uh, silver for the mouth plate there, so it's really nice. The eyes, it's it's fine. The dark blue does kind of get lost in the gray, and the light piping on this guy isn't super strong, but overall, it's all right. And it's a cool transformation too. I actually do enjoy doing it. Uh, the only issue I have, okay. The issue I have with the transformation, and I believe I mentioned this, I'm probably gonna repeat myself a bunch from the Energon Sharkticon video, but the thing with the transformation that bugs me is this entire chunk of vehicle mode just folds on his back and it just sits there. That's kind of a shame. And also these. I really, really wish that they gave you a way to like flip these around or slide them forward or something or have these fins fold back because this stinks. It 
if you want to have his arms at his sides kind of mostly forward, as is the norm, you kind of have to tuck the fins between his back and the thing on his back. And that's that's not cool. Especially seeing as how the way this thing is designed, the longest fin for the two of the two tail fins is the one that's pointed in. That's just unfortunate. You can bring him in a little bit closer if we swing these forward. If you rotate these guns up, then that gives you a little bit more room to kind of bring him back because now you don't have the uh, front of the gun in the way, so you can line him up along the back a little bit better. But it's still not great. They, they just wish they had done something a little bit different with that. But Considering this is Energon, I know it could have been a lot worse. You can, of course, hinge these big things down and then actually rotate them to give him uh, the ability to fire missiles from his hips, which... Is, why do I keep picking this side to do this when <laughs> this shoulder keeps popping out? But uh, as with the Energon version of this guy, I do like the fact that you can kind of come around to the back so you can see a little bit better. You can kind of angle these up instead of having it like straight down. And you can also kind of play with the placement of the uh, guns on the back there. And that kind of makes it look a little bit more like he's wearing some kind of cape. There we go. When it's a little bit closer to the body, that's, uh, you know, you still get the ability to bring the arms in a little bit more. And because of the way it sits, the gaps are kind of harder to see, so it pulls off the cape look a little bit better. Granted, it's a bit of a tenuous thing. You know, it's really easy to bump these out of place. But I still think it looks cool. I think it looks like uh, some kind of, I don't know, shark baron or something. I don't know, it's got kind of like a regal look to it. That's the best way I can think to describe it, is regal. And I'm very much into it. And as I said, I particularly like this version of the figure. It's just something about the colors here works so much better for me than any of the other options that are out there. Not to say the other options are bad, it's just this is the one that works particularly hard for me. Anyway, here he is with Downshift, and again, because they're from roughly the same era, there's not a huge discrepancy in terms of the size of their robot modes. And here he is with the duck tank. So that is going to do it for Transformers United Axelon. As I said, definitely my personal favorite of all the different Sharktacon options that are out there. I do, as of this recording, have the uh, Botcon Sharktacon in my possession, but shelf space being what it is, I actually have him listed on eBay. I like the homage for the Botcon Sharktacon, but as I said, many times. This is the one, this is the one that does it for me. But that's enough of my rambling. What do you all think of Transformers United Axelon? Since there are like four different versions of this mold out there, which one's your favorite? And I may have asked this for the Shark Con video, I don't remember, but is there anything that you all like to do to kind of work around these tail fin elbow things that constantly get in the way? Whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all, and remember, art is more than meets the eye.